Hey y'all, we're going to talk about how to make this nice little handle on this walking stick. It's very simple, made with paracord, takes just a couple of minutes to do, no complex knots, no anything. Uh, paracord can be very handy, especially on a walking stick. Uh, you can make the stick a little bit bigger to fit big hands. It's a little bit more comfortable. Also, if you're uh, out there in the wilderness with your walking stick, now you've got uh, a few yards or maybe more of paracord in an emergency can come in mighty handy. So, uh, you can see here it's Maybe you can't see here. We'll see. It's kind of tied up at the end. There's a very simple clove hitch here. The tag end runs up a few inches. I don't know if you can see that little bump there. That's the tag end where it's wrapped underneath the wraps. Then the wrap goes all the way up to the end. It's tied off with a knot with a nice handle on the end. That's the way I've done this one, and uh, I, I like doing it that way. One thing you might consider is uh, this tag end, you could leave it super long so that it actually comes out the top and... Uh, if you line it up just right, it can come out the top right where this wrap is ending, and now you can use both pieces to tie together as your handle. That may make it a little more stable, but as it is, this thing ain't going anywhere. Anyway, how do we do it? Let's look at the stuff that we have. We've got a dowel that we're going to do our temporary handle on. We've got a pile of paracord. You might not need a thousand feet of it, but hey, it comes in handy. It's cheap. I've uh, got a knife. Got a Massive lighter. Uh, you got to use some kind of a fire or heat device to you know, cauterize the ends of the rope so it doesn't peel away. You can, I don't know if you can see that when it's got a little little nub on it where it's been burnt. Got a little uh, beeswax. That's optional. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Little bit. Uh, and a little John Barley corn. Always a good thing to have. So how do we start out? Take the uh, take your your dowel, your walking stick, if you will. We're going to make uh, just a very simple clove hitch to begin. Oh, clove hitch come in. Leave enough of a tag end out there to uh, make sure you can get several wraps on it to bind it in nicely. Pull that clove hitch plenty tight. That's probably the most complex knot here, to, uh, other than the handle. Uh, so you want to, you can if you want to, you can glue that up. I, I just tend to hold it with my thumb. So the trick here is, you take the uh, the long end. And you can come up to the end, you're going to put a loop on it. Hold on, it's going to get clear. Get it up over the tag end. You can see that loop is really just a half hitch. So we're going to tie it on there, pull it tight. Pull it nice and tight. Now we'll do it again. Same thing. Loop it under like that, creating a little half hitch. Pull it tight. Do it again. Go up to the end, put the loop on, pull it tight, up over the over the tag end. So you keep going, keep pulling it tight. Little loop, slide it down, pull it tight. Loop, slide it down, pull it tight. All right, we're back. You can see I've wrapped up. Uh, I don't know, four and a half, five inches or so of of the handle here. That's a Enough for me to get a halfway decent grip, but we'll stop here because you can see we, we pretty much got there. See the tag end going up through there. You can see a little bit of a hump where it is. You can see an end there. If I beat that with a hammer, I'd flatten it out just a little bit. Uh, so that's it. So now we have this end. We can dangle the stick by this end. We can pull on it. It's not going anywhere. Uh, so uh, at this point, then I just cut it off and make a loop on it. So I'll grab a bunch, whip out the handy dandy knife, give it a cut. Uh, we don't need to burn the end yet because we're going to cut this thing again too. Now, uh, what I do here in the end is uh, put in what they call a, uh, a perfection loop. Uh, you know, when I was a kid growing up, my dad was a lifelong scout, a woodsman. He knew every knot in the universe. And he had this great big book in that living room called Ashley's Book of Knots. Hundreds of knots, not for every possible use. Wonderful resource. There's an online tool that has all of those knots in it. It's called animatednots.com. You go out there, you can tell it what you want to do, or you can click on some of the pictures and say, hey, I want an end loop, or I want to join two ropes together, and it'll give you 25 different knots for whatever you want to do and show you animatedly exactly how to tie them. So this is, uh, I'm probably going to screw this up, but this is basically your, uh, your Ashley Perfection Loop Knot. Let's see, we uh I'm trying to remember how I do this. It's kind of it's not complicated. I used to tie these on uh flies all the time. Let me see. 
Yeah, it's like this. We wrap this guy around here and wrap it around again. Bring it underneath here. Bring it through here. And this loop pokes out that handle like that. So a little finagling around, you get that knot looking looking like it's a loop, right? And it, one of those self-tightening knots where you, it's not going to come loose. So that's it. Now uh, with a little bit of scooching, of course, you uh, you move this knot down to the end. So, loosen it up, pull it down towards the end. That's about right for a handle. Pull it good and tight. Make sure your knot looks nice and tight and looks at halfway decent. And again, what about your handy dandy knife? Pop off the end. Get that end up where you can torch it without doing too much damage. And torch it. There she is, nice and tight, not going to come loose. I can, I can get some of the twists to turn a little bit if I really crank on them, but the way you fix that, the way you make this uh, a little bit more comfortable and be even tighter to the stick, the way I do it anyway, is take a hunk of beeswax and just kind of rub it in there. Yada, 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 yada. Get it kind of like that all the way around the handle. Fire up a pot of boiling water and just hang this over the boiling water. Don't get the handle down in there. Uh, hang it over the boiling water uh, a minute or two, turning it here and there until the wax gets all melted in. Wipe it off with uh, anything. You, you, you Don't use the dish towel like I did. That's not a good thing. Anyway, get it all melted in there. Wipe it down. And you end up getting something here. You can see it's got a little bit of that beeswax sheen to it. Hopefully you can see that. But it also really tightens this up. I can't get these coils to move at all. And that's it. Quick, handy dandy. Took me longer to make this video than it generally takes to, uh, to wrap up the entire handle cradle grave plus the beeswax.